Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. Back in the year 2018, I got All India Rank 17 in AIMS PG 2018 exam. I did my MD in Pediatrics from AIMS New Delhi and I'm currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology again from the same institute. In this video, we'll be talking about how, why first grant tests are important and how to use them in your preparation so that you get the rank that you desire and hence the branch that you desire. Now, what exactly is a grant test? Grant test is nothing but a mock test. It's essentially a full syllabus mock test that helps you prepare for the actual exam where the entire 19 subjects will suddenly come crashing down onto you in order to give you a feel of the exam in order to make you sure exactly how the exam is conducted. You will have to give grant test at a regular basis in order to realize what the actual test feels like in order to realize what that 19 subjects suddenly come into the picture feels like. Now you should do it regularly. You should do it religiously. Both the things are important. You cannot do it. Hey, why are you did it one grand test in three or four months and you think like, oh, I'm doing grand tests. No, you have to do it regularly. In my opinion, one to two grand tests, three to four months before the exam are a necessity. At the same point of time, you have to do them religiously. By religiously, what I mean is you have to use them in a way so that it helps your preparation. There is no point just going and giving the grand test. Okay, that will not help your preparation. Now, how should you give a grand test? In my opinion, an online resource like prep ladder would be better rather than an offline resource because the exam is online. Like for example, like, you know, your need PG examination or your AIMS examination, both of these are now computer based tests that is CBT. So it's imperative that you get the feel of the exam in the way of an online exam only. So use an online resource or an app like prep ladder in order to give your exam rather than an offline resource. Use a resource which is exactly like the exam. For example, in prep ladder, they test our uh, you know, of 200 questions conducted in 210 minutes, exactly like your need PG examination. So again, I'll say use a good online resource, for example, prep ladder, which is emulates, which, uh, which is exactly like the feel of the exam. Now let's assume you're using prep ladder, uh, or any online resource, but let's say you are you are someone you are someone who is a user of prep ladder and you're using prep ladder. Then how do you use these tests that you give the grant tests that you give on this online resource to effectively improve your score and improve your rank? First, learn learn how to use time management. For example, you are giving a grant test on prep ladder and the exam is for two hundred and ten minutes. Use it thoroughly in order to realize okay how am I going to solve. 200 question and 210 minutes it quickly boils down to just one minute per question you should not be running out of time you should always keep an eye on the watch to ensure that no question is left you know it shouldn't happen that you have done only 180 questions 20 questions are left and you just left for the five minutes in the exam it is fully possible that they were easy questions questions answers you knew but you will not be able to attempt in the actual exam you will not be able to attempt them thoroughly you'll not be able to give time to them because you were poor in your time management the first way to use grant test is to improve your time management Make sure you're able to solve all questions uh, in a decent amount of time so that your time management improves. That is the reason I'm again focusing. It's a you imperative to use an online resource because the exam is online. And if you don't use an online resource, you won't actually get the feel of an exam. And hence, I'm stressing upon using an online resource like prep ladder. The second, focus on topics especially the topics, especially the previous year questions will that will be given in the grant test. So grant test, let's say is given on you are giving on prep, prep ladder, they'll always uh, mention whether this particular question is a previous year question or not. For example, if uh, this question is given like, okay, which maneuver is this? So as we all know, this is the head tilt and chin lift maneuver. So focus on the topic. We know this is important as far as trauma is concerned. And trauma is like the most important topic, even as far as your beat your need PG or INICT examination is concerned. So instead of focusing on that particular question and knowing the answer to that particular question, it is imperative that you revise the entire topic, revise the entire topic, do it thoroughly, read the explanation that is given after completing the grant test, obviously not during the grant test, use the explanation that is given in your app, your prep ladder app, the small explanations that will be given and add them to your notes. So in this way, one particular topic will be covered as far as your exam is concerned. So your example, you gave a grant test with 200 questions. By end of the exam, you should ensure that those 200 topics and especially those topics in which will be mentioned, these are previous year questions, they should be done thoroughly. Third, and most importantly, wrong questions are more important than the right question. See, this is a mock test. This is not your actual twist. If you're getting a question wrong here, it doesn't matter. What's more important, you do not get the same question wrong in your exam. Okay, so you will realize which topics you're weak at. 
So if you're giving the entire test, let's say you have done your syllabus once and you're giving your test, there'll be certain topics which you will know that, okay, I've done this topic. I know the answer to this topic as well. I simply do not remember it because obviously a lot of questions are simply rote memorization that you will revel that that way you will be able to revise by giving the grant test itself. The second thing is there will be certain conceptual questions. What conceptual questions? As far as these conceptual questions are concerned, and if you're marking them wrong, it's very important. It's better to get them wrong during this prep test or grant test that you're giving rather than the actual exam. See the explanation that is given in the uh, prep ladder app and see, read the explanation thoroughly. When you read the explanation thoroughly in the prep ladder app, you realize, okay, this is where I was going wrong. This is the actual concept as far as the concept is concerned write down that concept, understand that concept thoroughly so that if that concept is asked again in your examination, you do not get it wrong. Prep ladder, if I'm not wrong, gets one free grant test for every user irrespective. So free ka to if is, is mal zarur kar hi lena. So use uh, on a good online resource like prep ladder to improve your ranks and grant to improve your uh, uh, understanding of the topics and as far as your examination is concerned. Last but definitely not the least, if you're giving a grant test over the three, four periods. So since you will be giving it on an online platform like Plep Ladder, a lot of individuals will be giving 10, 20, 30, 40,000 individuals will be giving these prep tests. See whether your rank is improving. <coughs> In the beginning, if your rank is not good, it doesn't matter because you've just completed the syllabus. Other people might just have revised that particular topic and see. But over a period of time, you should see your trend is improving. This will show that your preparation was on the right track. So giving it on an online platform like Plet Platter also helps because a lot of individual gives. So it gives you an idea where your preparation actually stands at. So how to use a grant test effectively? First, time management. Second, the previous year questions. Do those topics thoroughly, put them in your notebook. Third, the conceptual questions. See the explanation from the app, the prep, uh, the prep ladder app or the online app that you're using. See that explanation. See ki ye concept mira, this concept is not, I'm not doing this concept thoroughly. And in that way, you will be able to make sure that in the exam, you're not going to get it wrong. And fourth, it helps you keep track whether your preparation is on the track or not. Whether if your exam, if your test scores are increasing, if your rank is improving, it obviously means you're doing good if you're, you're, your, tra your preparation is on the track. So in this four ways, you should use your grand test time management, conceptual overview, uh, the especially the previous year question and their uh, explanation. Make sure you keep her grant test, mein, especially give, if you're giving on an uh, app, ye sari ki sari explanation maha par hongi. In cheese ko, ya to screenshot le lo, ya inko bookmark kar do, in nuggets ko, and inko apne exam, ya to apne notes mein add kar do, ya fir make sure that you have a list ki ye mirko exam se pehle revise karke jana hai. In this way, grant test will help you improve your score, improve your rank, and get your desired branch. Thank you and have a nice day.